All in all, as our observer is highlighting, nothing crazy happening. It no. looks like it's going to be a Stargate, and it's actually going to be in great position. The math behind this is that you're at the bottom right, so you throw the Stargate up on the there's a, left side, yeah, and you have a good chance to either go to the north or go to the south. And of course, Agus is in the south. And if, if, if he's at the top right, you know, that's, that's the bad side of the coin. That's you losing the gamble. But it does look like yeah. I guess is going to scout no. it. He's not going to be able to stop the Oracle from coming out because he does have a stalker out. And actually, this could hurt I guess. Having units out on the map when that Oracle comes out could hurt him because there's a stalker. And that stalker is looking to kill whatever it can. There's no Nexus here. It's a very, very quick Oracle coming out. Yeah. So this Marine will die by the hands of these laser beams. The bunker is on the way. There are not enough Marines he to actually deal with this. He there's just started a turret. There's not enough Marines. Yeah, and this bunker's gonna die too. And now there's another probe coming in. He pulls SCVs, but this Oracle is gonna come out and it's gonna do a good amount of damage. The turret is not done either. Looks like he wants to target oh, down no. Marines. This is bad for Ivan. And you kill the Marines and then the Stalkers are gonna be able to finish everything else up. Like, it doesn't even matter that he can't kill all the workers. He's he's slowed everything else on enough. The only thing that worked. Yeah, well, there Two, you go. Three. Wow. Might as well just put him in a cage. Why, would he, why would he? Put him in a cage. <laughs> Lock him up. You are are committed to this push why not why <laughs> not why not who cares do it what are you gonna do I guess warp gates almost done this stalker is stuck and he is committed he's gonna kill he could kill it if he uh, activated he could have killed that oh, one of mine oh he got out how do you get out <laughs> he's a wizard what in the world this game <laughs> okay I'm happy now you're happy I'm now? I'm happy now. Just I was really the worried. The gateway makes this. The gateway, the gateway is, is the game. complete, well, like, I think three I pylons was overkill, too. No, 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 no. Three pylons, it's normal for Haas. The gateway is just the cherry on the top of the cheese. He's going to he's gonna repair Ugh. this widow mine, but... Only Haas would put a cherry on top of the cheese. It's delicious. Haas loves it. <laughs> when, from one dirty Protoss to another, I love everything about this game. This is... This is going to give me PTSD for a while. Yeah. I can't handle this. Going to have nightmares tonight, but it's shaking. <laughs> Waking up in a cold sweat. <laughs> Haas! No, Haas! <laughs> this is all bad. No I, more pilots, what is I please. Do? GG, Haas, Haas takes the series. Haas! Haas! Hello! <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing in my base? This has gone all wrong. Abort well, mission. I mean, everything's abort going mission. according to plan right now for us no of course he's not gonna abort a normal player will abort, abort that's why he's mission. gonna stay that's why he's gonna go for a gateway and that's why he's still proxying oh has i love you i actually want to say this on the desk but ladies and gentlemen before we even get into this i love you has i declare my devotion to you really? it's time to lose it guys it's time to get freaky because in the end the zealots are all the way they're being incredibly stood out but he's already gonna have marines there to be able to deal with it so as long as he sort of steps back i'm surprised he didn't make a bunker actually during all of yeah. this to be honest with you that would have helped out quite considerably against this zealot only attack that's going to be coming for a little while this wants to rely just on marines and scvs with like some good micro it may be possible behind is the core started now three walkers on the gas here for has ah uh, good micro oop losing that scv and continues to pull off just a few SCVs to buffer for that one Marine that he has available to him. And now he finishes up the second barrier. He actually injured quite a few of those SCVs with the probe. Could have gone in for the kill, but chooses to preserve his Zealot alive. Now there's soon going to be enough Marines to deal with these Zealots quite easily, especially since he's just two. Behind his has. What? Follow up all in. Is he going to transition into it? Because he sure as hell is not, isn't going to macro from there. <laughs> Apollo just saw the game, he just came in briefly, and now he's like, what's going on? <laughs> All right, well, yep, three Marines are going to be able to fend this off quite easily. That being said, there is a Stalker on the way. Oh, if he can get the pylon before, uh, the, the Zealots are going to cover here a little bit. Going to be difficult, going to be difficult, going to be difficult, that's about to pop. Uh, and it will get out in time, so two Zealots as well as a Stalker do actually work out a oh well against God. Marines. But the small Marines are actually about to pop. I can't believe he's actually killing this many Marines here. Has Doing okay. He had not anticipated for this gateway to... His supply blocks. Yeah. Like get on powered like this and be supply block behind. Going for the second gas. He's gonna go for the follow-up stargate. Oh, of course yes. he is. Uh, there oh, is a stalker yeah. back at home for has. If, if he catches right. this SCV, the nice scouting. 
Well, here comes the Oracle. He's going to get himself with US EVs already. Gets himself for the Void Ray is in production, of course, Todd. I mean, the Void Ray. It's unavoidable. Hass is the best thing to happen to this group. Is he even going to proxy the gateways? Because with this, you're supposed to get additional gateways. Now, is he actually making them back at home? And there's a bunker going down as well at the front in a more conventional location. But he could just yeah. start working on the rocks at the back, actually. That's a uh, good bit of info here for Bunny. If he gets yeah. in the main and sees the gateways. But the thing is, he might yeah. think there is a gold base tech in the middle of the map. You That's need to true. check everything against Haz. Yeah, you do. Uh, that is if he saves itself by jumping into the bunker just barely there. He's at 21 workers against 23. Two extra gateways are being planted here, Todd. And we are going to see this one base come to fruition. What? This is not what you need against Void Ray, Skylars. Oh, no, and he does see the back rocks and he sees the beams. Sees the beams. All right, he's going to pull that back and try and regroup a little bit. Uh, still has the tank in production. Bunker's going to go down. He needs Widow Mines. Yeah. Widow Mines would be much better here. Very useful. Very, very useful. But he would be making them one at a time from this barracks. Uh, and then he loses a few SCVs there again. 23 to 23, though. He's still kind of even. The Oracle needs to do more damage. He's going to stick around with this army, maybe kill off a few of the Marines when it goes in. The thing about this is that rather than going for Zealots and, you know, sentries to tank a lot of damage while the Void Race do, the actual damage for his army, he gets a lot of stalkers, so he can actually step in there, snipe, you know, bunkers, tanks, anything he wants to kill, and those marines, they're gonna die so quickly. Been on Aklon way so long ago, but it can continue going for a long, long time because it has yeah. so much firepower. Void rays are gonna bring down these buildings quickly. Bunkers are not very useful against this kind of void ray assault. You need a lot of them if you're gonna bail it. And he gets the command center. Good pickup here to start things off, perhaps. There's actually no, you know, long-term plan here for Haz, I think. No. When you go for this kind of build, it's very hard to transition out of. But he's still making probes and he's going for a Twilight? What the? What is happening? Uh, there's going to be a fifth Void Ray in production now. The Void Ray is just going to fly in, try and pick off this yeah. tank, which is Simpac vulnerable. Is done. He's going to kill a done. tank! He just gets himself a tank and walks on back! Flies away. <laughs> flies on back. <laughs> Well, all right. Steam pack is done. Remember, Haz yep. needs to be careful here. Yeah, very. Um, the Marines. He hasn't started Blink. He's being a little bit sloppy here with the macro, but... Uh, having a difficult time combating these Void Rays in this location. Um, a fifth Void Ray is on the way. Yeah. I mean, that Viking is going to have a, a field day. Yeah. 21 SCVs to 27 probes. Blink never started. Another Void Ray is in production. It's so Number funny six. how there is a Marine on the natural of Haz, which is like Bunny must be looking there sometimes. He's like, oh my god, like this is never going to I end. hate you. I just hate you. And now Haz playing as dangerously as he has been doing all this time and is now going up against Bunny. Uh, you're right, Bunny has got to be hating life Whoa. at the moment, but he will pick up one of the Void Rays. Going to lose another one here. So really good chase down. Gets another one. A really good defense here by Bunny so far that killing off a lot of expensive units. Has though, he's he walked in some units on the ramp. I think ideally he was hoping that Bunny would move down that ramp, in which case he would have been able to crush whatever was coming down. But now at this point, he knows that there are turrets. Dark Shrine is definitely not an option. He's lost some of his very important void race. Is he going home? This is starting to look very good for Bunny here. I mean, yeah, this is not gonna bust Bunny anymore. No. Now it's time to go into wave number three of the all-in. A charge. gold base, a lot of gateways, and charge. The thing all is, right. He has combat shield. He, he has team pack. <laughs> he's he gonna have at least one medivac. He walked them in to go aggressive. Uh, of course he did. Bunny's leaving his base. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, okay, so he could get himself a few workers here. There's only two marines actually. To oh, hold Bunny, on don't do it. This. Don't move up that ramp. Uh. He can actually siege down there and kill all of these gateways. This oh. is great. Bunny is not gonna take any big risks. Back at home, he's defending with just SCVs, some marine and the medivac right now. Yeah, he lost seven SCVs. Really thinking on his feet here as Bunny as he brings the aggression back to Haas. Trying to kill off exactly what he's going to have to do. But at the same time, Templar archi archi archives? On archives? one base. On one base. Uh, Todd, help. <laughs> oh, that Viking needs to be very careful. It's the only unit that he has here that can spot on or, uh, the high ground. Actually, he has a medivac as well, but that will die very quickly from these Void Rays. This is the ultimate test. This is really the ultimate test. We now see Templar Archives on one base. The Void Rays are going to get the Viking. Uh, but uh, one Viking or Void Ray even will fall for its troubles. That's still a lot of Marines. Yeah. And uh, Haz is down to a very few probes. I don't think Bunny is going to leave this position anytime soon. Even drop some of the Marines on the high ground. Bunny is in a great position here. Unless he completely messes up. Well, actually, he probably will still win. But with Haz, you never know.
Uh, he is caught between a rock and a hard place, so, and that hard place is a couple of siege tanks and some marines on this left-hand side that are causing him some issues. But here come the charged zealots. They're not really charging up against oh, the Oracle. Oh, they've been completely sacrificed the against across the map. He's not being moved by Has. He's going to try to get away. Uh, oh, my God. If Bunny had been looking. Yeah, but he's losing so much of his army here. There's so many marines left available here to Bunny, who has brought the aggression back to Has's side of the map, and he will be able to kill off the remaining forces here. That one Void Ray is actually doing all right, and if the only marines die, then he could actually get some of the siege tanks, they're going to all die if that Void Ray stays alive. What Whoa. the? What earth is going on? He's got 17 kills. These three siege tanks are going to die, but he's got very little economy left over. 12 workers to 15. The reinforcement <laughs> marines are on the yeah, way. There, there's oh, going to be the enough. Medivac. There's oh, going to the be enough for Bunny no matter what. He saves the tanks, boosts away with the medivac here, and I mean, the Oracle is going to overextend his stay. There you go, GG. Game number one goes to Bunny. I uh, have lost my mind. Actually, in this position, um, if he, Naniwa clears the entire area around his main natural, usually you check more around the third base on the right-hand side rather than this position. Mm. So I think this is going to be the one gate from Has, just like uh, he did last time, into the three to four gates all in. Naniwa, is he going to go out and scout oh. his opponent's base? Oh. Is he going to check that location? Oh. I think so, Kailaris. Ding, 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 this ding, is ding, massive ding, ding, here. Ding, ding. This is massive. Naniwa could even cancel. He cancels the second gas. Wow. Upon realizing immediately, and all of a sudden, Naniwa, all he has to do is chrono boosting out his own zealots, make sure he starts warp gates, mother ship core, and a stalker, and he should be absolutely okay. A two gateway stalker, which is also a very popular build to which to, you need to react very differently than this. Right now, the second zealot is a little bit late to the party, but it will finally enter the field. Has very nice micro gets uh, one probe for the, just losing the shields. And he's going to get straight on out of there. Stalker versus Stalker on yeah. production now. The warp gate tech isn't even that far behind for Haas. So again, this is a very, very deadly build. As we see, it. it's just aggression from the very word go. Starting a second yeah. guess. Haas is about uh, 20 seconds ahead in the warp gate tech. So and right now he's going to start realizing what's happening. Makes sense. Ooh, doesn't actually spot those units there, so maybe a few pot shots from this Stalker can cause a bit yeah. of disruption. As he's, oh. pro he's proxying a pylon <laughs> on the right-hand side of this, actually. Those units could get trapped down on the map here yeah. for Naniwa. They could. Um, a little bit of a shame that this Stalker didn't came out, come out here for Hass. That would have changed the type a lot. That one Stalker from Naniwa shooting at the pylon. Okay, I thought he was going to get trapped here. Okay, he's he got another Stalker careful. with this. Warp gate finished. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out, mate. Get back to home. Well, he's... You what, mate? <laughs> Wrong way. <laughs> Go back. Well, it's funny. He's and anyway, he's actually going to be the one uh, trying to put on some aggression as well here. He's proxying a pylon across the map. He's swapping in stalkers back at home. Mm. And the walker comes still very even. Anyway, with one more pylon, though. No one has supply block. Big supply block. He's getting two pylons right now. He wanted to chase that weakened stalker. He's going to get some zealots at the front for his troubles. And then five versus four with the high ground advantage. And one very <laughs> weak. It's very difficult to do anything. This one stalker. The U Watt stalker. Hero. The U Watt stalker. He's, he's all over this base. He's like, well, I'll just turn around the fight. Yeah. I'll be fine. It's so funny how paranoid he's. Naniwa is, by the way. Ooh. He starts a robo. <laughs> oh. With all that happened, he's still to think. He seems Ooh. to think that Has could possibly be getting some DTs right now. And Naniwa having warped in units across the map, he's not going to be able to warp in back at home, but the photon of a charge is almost there to rescue him. Yep, three seconds away, and even just warping Ooh. a few more units there, sending in the Zealots into the main base as well to really cause a bit of disruption there to Has back at home. Has is so funny how he can still make the most of those situations even being so far behind. He's going to defend back at home with the probes. He still killed a few more probes of anyone. Both of them lost three probes. Yeah, it's 19 workers to 18, so so, so close. But So damn close. Oh, and Haas is going to start using the contain, which is very yeah. when you're a Haas, because you don't want to stay here for too long. It has been spotted. He's going to go, ooh, jeez. Yeah. This was, this was very eager, the way he played this, and it was Naniwa. Yes. He could have hit this. Hit I, really, this. I really don't like by Naniwa that he went on top of this army like this. He mm. could have dropped everything out, then went for the attack, and those units would have never left and been exactly. killed all of them, and then it's just game. He could but have hidden it. It's so smart by Hess to go for Stargate when he knows he's up against a Robo, but I still think he's quite a bit behind. Whoa. Really doesn't want to be losing that warp prism. At least he doesn't have Blink to chase that down. Stargate's in production here, though, by Hass. Uh, Robo so Bay for Naniwa, which is one of the worst choices. If like, It's actually the worst choice you can do against the Stargate. And the Warp Prism is even going to get spotted by the Oracle here. 
and vice versa. The Oracle spotted by the Warp Prism, so at least Nanio has that feather in his cap. He could leave some of the units back, or he could just rely completely on this Photon Overcharge, but at least he gets this pylon, at least he gets the gateway. This is not going to be a success. Everything of Hass's is ready for the waiting. Let's see what this goes uh, into from here. Has he's getting Phoenixes right now. Suicide run. How many is he going to get? Gets five. Wow, that's, that's decent. 26 I mean, to 17 now. Yeah, and look at the Naniwa's mineral line. It's 11 probes on the minerals. That's really, really little. Yeah, not healthy at all. Get it, seeing the Robo oh. Bay here, I mean, has he must be very happy. Things are not going Naniwa's way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of so course, he has the two immortals, but... Uh, if, if, if he can get over there to go for an engagement, and even then, yeah. it will be difficult to take a straight one. It's up to this Colossus. He might just go for it. Back, how many units do we have at Naniwa, oh, okay. Naniwa having a photon of a charge is great as well, because if those Phoenixes were to yeah. go across the map to try and do some counter damage, it would help a lot. But Ah, oh, he got the probe. He has the probe. knows that he's in a lot of trouble right now, so he goes back with the Phoenixes. He's not going to make the same mistake that Naniwa did. And oh. yeah, there's not going to be a proxy panel. Yeah. Naniwa can supply block has, though, and it's only a single Void Ray to help against this Colossus and this massive ground army. Has needs a good concave. Nani was going up the ramp. Here we go. That's a lot of firepower we're seeing here. How well are the Zealots going to be able to tank at the front? That's a big deal. The Void Ray is charged up on it. He's actually going to focus that down with the Stalk as he brings that down, trying to ne negate some of the damage here from the Immortals as he pushes on forwards. The army supply is a little bit in Naniwa's favor, but the Colossus falls. How much is he going to continue doing? One yeah. of the Immortals dies. The second one may end up falling as well. Naniwa is enough, I think. He's breaking through this. The Immortal Shoot. Oh, he's not going to fall. Oh, he doesn't have another pickup. Oh, but it's going to fall anyway. He's warping into more units. That with extra Void Ray oh could be God, the difference the maker. Ray. If he gets he all the Oh, he shields them in. He gets them and locks them in. The Void Ray GG. Has takes it 2-0.